Brad, you guys have um, obviously put forth a couple of really good efforts lately, but what was the difference tonight in being able to kind of put away the win? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, well, as I mean, it's our defense. We, we guarded for 48 minutes. Uh, I think we did a good job of just, just disrupting them. That's the, that's the best team that came here in the league right now tonight. And uh, we just did a good job of making them uncomfortable and, uh, and making sure that we executed on the offensive end. You know, we were making sure everybody was involved. Um, but it was definitely our defense that, that definitely won us a game. That's a no-brainer. On offense, you and Russ were obviously so complimentary. What was working there for you guys kind of playing off of each other tonight? Uh, I mean, that's just that's growth. You know, uh, he's, he's easy to play with, you know, because he understands the game. He's very unselfish, and I feel like I'm the same way. So it's just – it's just a it was just a feeling out there. It's not like we tell each other what to do or, you know, certain stuff we may see, we try to, you know, we we may teach or say, watch out for this or look at me here, certain spots, but more or less it's just it's just reactionary. You know, we just understand uh where each other will be on the floor, where we like the ball, and it's it's been great it's been great to see and, and be a part of. Chase. Hey, Brad, uh, 43 points for you, uh, 42 for Donovan Mitchell. W what was it like battling him tonight, two all-star guards? Oh, it's tough. You know, he's, he's a great he's a great player. He's an all-star for a reason. Uh, you know, and when he gets downhill, man, he's, he's one of the best guards in the league. You know, granted, he loves his three ball, but, you know, I feel like he's, he's very dangerous when he's attacking downhill. Uh, you know, especially at bigs. So, you know, we we just tried to contain him as best as we can as we could. I think in the first half we did a good job of that. Second half he kind of got going, got loose. Uh, but you know, we, we respect his game and respect what he's capable of doing. Uh, but I think we did a good job of, of trying to control him, I would say. And uh I'm not sure if you're aware, but you had um your last 11 40 point games that the, the team had lost and, and that was an NBA record. And uh, tonight that streak was broken. What was it like just whether you're aware of that record or not to, to have that streak broken? The only reason I'm aware of that record is because you all make it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's great to, to cut that, that streak off. So. Fred. Hey, Brad. Um, Russell is was nine for 11 from the line tonight. He was nine for, for 12 last night. And he's been going through his free throw struggles this year. I'm just wondering, have, have you ever had a point where you've kind of gone through a slump at the line, whatever the numbers might have been in those moments? And if so, is there anything different about slumping at the free throw line just with how like mental that can be compared to other sorts of slumps you can fall into? Uh, free throws is all mental mental and mechanics to me anyway. Uh, I haven't always been a great free throw shooter. Like I think I've only been averaging in the eighties the last two years, maybe if that I've been shooting high seventies, uh, you know, in previous years before that. So I wouldn't call myself a great uh, free throw shooter until honestly this year, maybe last year. Uh, but it's all mental. Like it's just a confidence thing going up there and knocking them down. Uh, everybody's different, you know, everybody's, everybody's routine is different. Everybody's rhythm is different. Everybody's mechanics are different. And everybody's thought process is just different. Uh, but, you know, I feel like he's been actually making those, making a lot of them his last couple of games, which has been good for us. Uh, Cause he gets there a lot, but he, he knows that, you know, we don't need to kind of put more fuel on that fire. You know, he, he already knows what he needs to do and what he needs to get better at. Uh, it's one of the areas, but hell we all do. So. Chase, you have another question? Uh, yeah, Brad, just uh, the way Russ came out there in, in the first quarter and, and in the first half, what did that do to lift you guys? Well, he was carrying us. You know, he was uh, – he had it going. Uh, he had a rhythm, and, you know, we it wasn't broke. We didn't fix it. So, you know, we stuck with it, allowed him to be aggressive, allowed him to attack, and, uh, and everybody else was just ready to go when, you know, when their time came. So, uh, it was – it's great to be able to see him. I, I love when he's aggressive um, and shooting the ball because uh, it makes us – it spreads the floor out, makes everybody have to be respected. He gets more open driving lanes that way. 
So, you know, it's uh, I'm happy for him. And uh, we just got to keep it going. We both understand that, you know, the ship isn't going to move unless we're, we're steering it. So. Last question to Brianna. Hey, Brad. So going off the statement, you have fun, you, you win because you have fun, or because you have fun, you win. What viewpoint do you take, especially after tonight's game and going forward? Uh, both. I mean, I always look at it as, you know, this is a game we're all blessed to play. So, you know, I always, I always try to have fun with the game. You know, the results would be what they are. You know, I don't predicate being happy or being proud with wins and losses. Granted, nobody likes to lose, but, you know, ultimately, that's a blessing to play this game regardless of what your record shows. Uh, you know, to be a part of some of the best guys to ever touch a ball. It's only 450 guys in the NBA. Uh, something I always try to emphasize to my AAU kids and guys I try to mentor is, you know, it's, it's tough to be here. It's tough to make it uh, and it's tough to stay, you know, so. Uh, just counting that blessing and realizing that being here in itself is is an opportunity that you should be grateful for and happy about. Uh, and at the same time, when you're winning, it, it definitely creates joy uh, within the team in the locker room. But I think nonetheless, just being where we are in the position we are in, you know, embrace who we are and what we do. And uh, the rest take care of yourself.